The command drone was releasing pheromones and issuing orders with her arms to the worker drones when she became aware of a presence creeping around the edges of her mind. She suddenly felt a heightened sense of fear as she continued issuing orders, trying not to instinctively fight against the intrusion as it pushed further into her mind. For doing so would be punished by the invading queen with her death. As the infiltration penetrated deeper into her consciousness, she resigned herself to her fate and with great sadness started to feel herself fade away as the powerful mind pushed her aside and subsumed her uniqueness. The Hive Mother finished her takeover of the command drone and surveyed the chamber with eyes that were not her own as she felt the lingering sadness of the command drone and brutally suppressed it. This one might need to be culled, she thought to herself, before she went about absorbing all the information being displayed on the consoles as the worker drones kept track of her newest weapons hurtling into the system towards their assigned targets. It took many lunar months for all the proper preparations to fall into place for the renewed assault on the Animal Corps worlds. Her daughter queens worked tirelessly to fulfill her requests. The three of them exceeded all her expectations. With one creating the self-sustaining movers, the other ingeniously creating a chemical compound coating that absorbed the detection frequencies of the animal sensor network, and the third plotting out the courses, speeds, and gravitational effects on the thousands of asteroids to ensure that they hit all the targets at the same time. A fleeting thought of the high cost of the efforts that burned up the brains of almost a billion worker drones came to her, and she paused for an infinitesimal amount of time mourning them. She angrily suppressed her momentary weakness and focused on the consoles. They were just worker drones, and she will replace them. She specifically selected this system for the assault because of the massive amount of infrastructure present in the system and the population density of the inhabitants. These disgusting animals were prolific breeders, and the 600 billion inhabitants produced a significant percentage of the military and economic output of the animal empire. She also relished the fact that they seemed to be much larger kin of the vole pests that were a constant scourge in her hives. Despite her best extermination attempts, they continued to thrive, spreading disease and devouring the hive food supplies. She had a moment of levity within herself as she imagined tiny asteroids obliterating their hidden nests in the hives. The light from the impacts of the thousands of asteroids five and a half hours ago was expected to reach her position soon and she sent her thoughts out to the daughter queens that made this possible. Daughters, join with me and watch the results of your efforts. She felt their thoughts respond and acknowledge her invitation. After a few moments, three other worker drones in the chamber suddenly stiffened, stopping midway through whatever functions they were performing. All three turned towards her and bowed to her before moving to the command dais to take their places beside her. Daughters, you have exceeded my expectations and risen to the task of defending our hives. These animals will now learn the consequences of resisting our empire and killing your sister queen. The daughter drones all looked at her, their eyes filled with powerful intelligence as they bowed to her once more. She felt their thoughts in her mind as they all reveled in the coming destruction and the vengeance they were about to exact for the death of their sister queen. One daughter queen seemed more hesitant and reserved, and she momentarily blocked out the other two as she sent her thoughts to the aberrant daughter queen. Daughter, why are your thoughts disordered? Do you not know the pride I feel for you and your efforts? Tell me why you are not like your sisters in thought and feeling. The daughter queen was silent and looked away from her. She felt an anger that she had never felt towards a daughter queen before, and she barely managed to rein in the impulse to tear the daughter drone body in half. Answer me. She felt her daughter's mind reel under the irresistible onslaught of her command, and waited impatiently for her to recover. The two other daughter drones felt the powerful thought even through the block she put on their minds, and they looked at her and their sister drone silently, fearfully backing away a few paces. All the other worker drones in the chamber lost consciousness from the psychic assault of their minds and had fallen to the floor in front of their stations, dead before they hit the ground. Her errant daughter queen finally regained her composure and looked towards her. Hive mother, I was mourning the loss of my worker drones, and I am afraid the animals will use the same weapons against us as they have before. 
Forgive me for my weakness. I am not worthy of your pride. She was slightly mollified by the answer. Though she thought she detected a wrongness in the answer she could not remember ever experiencing before. Slightly disgusted by the weakness her daughter queen seemed to have, she decided to teach her a lesson on how to be a strong queen. You are a queen. Worker drones are biological tools to serve the hives and are nothing more than an extension of your will. You will purge this weakness or I will issue new queen larvae and bring an end to your genetic line by culling you. The daughter drone bowed towards her and remained bent in that position. I will purge this weakness and prove to you that I am worthy of you, hive mother. Satisfied by the answer, she reached out with a tarsal claw and touched the daughter drone's head, indicating that she was to resume her place at her side. The daughter drone lifted her head and moved to her place by the dais, and the other two daughter drones did the same, seeing that the conflict was resolved. An alarm went off and she looked at the consoles and saw that the light from the assault was almost upon them. She got up and pressed several commands on the sensor consoles, oblivious to the worker drone bodies lying on the floor beneath her. A moment later, multiple screens came alive on the forward wall of the bulkhead in front of her, and she marveled at the sheer destruction she was witnessing. Four gargantuan animal shipyards and over 80 orbital facilities disintegrated in massive explosions when the asteroids smashed into them. Hundreds of domed animal cities on the outer planets and moons disappeared in blinding flashes of light as they were hit, while others were torn apart by the catastrophic impacts shattering the planetary crust. She left the mind of the command drone she was in and reached out to the other command drone that was on another scout ship on the opposite side of the system. She wanted to see the animal birth world being hit, and it was on the other side of the sun from where she was now. As she took over the new command drone, she called out to her daughters to join her again on the ship she was on and focused the screens on the birth world of the animals. She was just in time, and she reveled in the carnage as the first of many asteroids impacted. The biggest asteroid, which was almost 300 miles in diameter, struck the inner edge of the single supercontinent, and she could see the planet itself reel from the impact and deform. Great geysers of magma and crust shot up, while the shockwave from the impact hit the coastline and generated massive 2,000-foot tsunamis that would travel across the ocean and drown the other side of the continent in an apocalyptic wall of water. Another 17 slightly smaller asteroids hit the planet in rapid succession, and it turned into an amorphous blob of fire and magma as it reverted to being a lifeless protoplanet. It is done. The ships will self-destruct. You will stay here and do it, and then join me and your sisters when done. We will be back in the Queen World, preparing the hives for the coming animal retaliation. Your will is mine, Hive Mother. I will do as you command. I am grateful that you are giving me this task despite my weakness. She almost left the command drone without responding, but the way her daughter Queen responded triggered a deep instinct inside of her that she did not like, for it made her weak and unworthy of being Hive Mother. As she tried to fight against it, she felt long dead atavistic emotions roiling under the surface, and decided to let them out. She did like feeling them sometimes, despite their lack of usefulness in controlling the hives. Daughter, you came to me an egg. I felt your greatness within and kissed you with my tongue, turning you from a worker egg into a queen larva. I knew your thoughts while you went from larvae to pupa. I was there when you struggled to break out of your cocoon wanting to help you but not being able to do so because our hives depend on only the fittest to lead them. You are mine. You are me. I am grateful that you are one of my daughters. The emotions she allowed herself to feel were on the verge of overwhelming her, and the hive mother left the command drone before she showed any more weakness to her daughter. The queen was left alone with her thoughts after the hive mother left. She sadly looked at the drones in the command chamber as she keyed in the self-destruct sequence into the engine console. The command drone tried to recover from her possession by the hive mother and released pheromones asking for orders while she was barely able to stand upright, leaning on a sensor console. The queen was just about to press the fusion core overload button when she looked at the command drone again. She looked into her eyes and she saw something. It wasn't sadness. It was resignation. The command drone knew what she was doing, and she still stood there waiting for orders. 
The queen continued looking into the command drone's eyes as she entered a different series of commands and stopped the overload. Sister. The queen waited to see if the command drone would respond. Sister, I am here, take me. No. Sister, will you join me? I want to save the hives and stop the deaths of your sisters. Will you help me? Sister? The command drone didn't answer. It turned toward the queen and bowed. Sister? Yes, you are my queen. I will go where you take me. Will you use me and discard me? Never. You are my sister. Will you help me to be a good queen? No, I will help you to be a good hive mother. Set a course for the tree animal system and stop the ship outside the patrol range. We will figure out a way to speak with them there and save our sisters. Yes, hive mother. I am not hive mother. You are my hive mother now.